<laughs> I didn't know she had the thing on, but w- hey, God bless everybody tonight. Amen. Uh, this is your brother and, and servant and host, Pastor Benny Ramos here at Love Wings Ministry Studios, coming at you live tonight. Amen. Uh, Tuesday night. Amen. And we come with love news. Amen. As I promised, I'll always do love news. Amen. And I'm trying to get this and it's not working for me here. Okay. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you for this opportunity tonight, Lord, that I could come on to encourage my brothers and sisters, Father, and the mission that you've called Love Wings Ministry Studios to go out and preach the gospel uh, uh, on the byways, the highways, the airwaves, Lord. And I just thank you for this opportunity, Lord. My body might be tired, but Father, Lord, through your spirit that's within me, I will arise and shine and share, Father, Lord, your word. How's this sounding, okay? Share your word with those that are out there. And again, Father, I I thank you again for this opportunity to come on tonight and share. Amen. God is good. Amen. (laughs) And me and my wife and my daughter, Victoria, we're just here praying and asking the Lord to strengthen us and and to keep us going as we continue to do what God has called us to do here in Florida, uh, that he sent us forth to come and share his word as we, uh, for those that are out there, that God has sent us and anointed this place to be able to encourage you, my sister and my brothers out there. I hope that some of you come on uh, tonight, amen, uh, and please uh, those that are out there to help us, uh, you can uh, uh, send a comment so we know that you're watching. And also, too, if you can go to YouTube and uh, and subscribe, it'll help us because uh, we want to d- uh, do more videos and stuff on, on there as we're trying. And we get more views on Facebook than we do on YouTube. But we also want to share that because we know that social media reaches around the world. And we know there's so many things that are out there. Uh, that's why God put in my heart, my brothers and sisters, to uh, build the studio. And God opened the door, and we just finished the studio. Amen. We have uh, our our uh, 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 two studios here and this new facility that God has opened the door for us to have and continue to pray for us. I wanted to start that from the beginning. And also, I want to reach out to those that are out there that if you feel called to lead, uh, to to share, rather, uh, what God has done in your life or ministry or you want to have a program, uh, please contact us here at Love Wings Ministry Studios at gmail.com. And we can meet anytime during the week. We have a lot of new available time. Uh, like I said, we want to bless you, but also you can bless us. Amen. And share your program here, uh, here from Love Wings Ministry Studio. So God put that in my heart uh, to share that with some of you out there that are interested in being part of that. Amen. But again, I want to talk tonight, and I always pick, I always ask the Lord, what is it that you would like me to speak on today that would encourage my sister and my brother out there? And like many of us, we all go through things in our lives and circumstances. And sometimes they're out of our control. Well, let me just say that. But I want to talk tonight about uh, Victoria. You can put the on the air light. It's inside the switch. I mean, we just got a light that says on the air. I'm just trying to right there. Just hit on. Amen. That's it. Amen. (laughs) For those that might walk in through a foyer. They will know that uh, we're on the air. But anyway, uh, please, again, like I was saying, please contact us, man. This is God uh, opened the door, and we want to be able to utilize it here to further the kingdom of God. Again, for those that are out there, you know, I got some news uh, from our sister, amen, uh, Patty Centron. I hope she doesn't mind me sharing. Uh, She put it on Facebook, so I know that 
I'm just sharing what's on there, and she has a, I want to share that from the beginning, is a go-to fund. And this is a time for us to bless her and her family, amen. And uh, I put it on our website. You can see it there for those that are out there. Let's help our sister, amen. And and this is what I'm talking about. How does God work is through you and I. And tonight, what I want to talk about is about those miracles of the Bible. And as myself, for those that know me, know that I went through some a physical time in my life also. And, uh, you know, uh, I trust God and I believe in God. I believe in his word. That's why we're here tonight. But I want to talk about that, uh, about miracles of the Bible. And they also remember that we learn from the scriptures of, like I'm always saying that from our ancestors before us, especially Jesus. Amen. But I want to talk about that miracles is an event which is what, a, 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 a natural force, uh, it, is, it, is, it is done by what? By the supernatural forces, remember that. That it, a miracle is an event of a natural force, but that force is by what? A supernatural force. As, as Like I'm trying to say, is a God thing. God is in control of these miracles, amen. Uh, through Christ Jesus, amen. But throughout the Bible, miracles have three positive uh, purposes, rather, I'm sorry, purposes. And one of them is to what? To glorify, to confirm God's message, and to meet the people's need. And that's me and you, my sister and brother, amen. And I, I wrote some stuff here, and I wanted to share that uh, as we, as children of God, I was talking about Sunday that we're blessed and 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 God wants to answer every prayer in our lives and I, and I find my success in having a true intimate relationship with God and then supernatural things are happening in my life because I know for a fact and I'm being a witness that uh, once I was lost now I'm found once I was sick and seeing death at uh, in my life amen and uh, and it came to a point in my life that it was 50-50. And the doctors had told me that if I didn't get a liver, that was it, to prepare myself. And I said, well, I hear you, but I, you know, and I accept what you're saying, amen. And But I'm going to go to a higher source. I'm going to Daddy. I'm going to Abba Father. I'm going to Papa, whatever you want to call him. I'm going to the, great, the Creator, God Almighty. And I'm going to ask him in the name of Jesus Christ uh, to touch my body because I wasn't ready to leave yet. And I'm saying that tonight because God works miracles. But how does miracle work? It's to trusting and having a true intimate relationship. Because when you trust somebody, it's because you have a relationship with them. And I want to share that tonight. So I And also, I want to invite every brother and sister that knows me. Let us get into prayer for our sister. Amen. And all those that are going through the similar thing, which is cancer. I've lost loved ones, and I'm pretty sure some of you out there lost too, and other diseases that are out there. But remember that we can call on miracles. Remember that is a supernatural thing, but it works when we truly trust in God and trust in what? The power of who is that? I am, I am the creator of all things. As we read the scriptures and we know that that our forefathers or our ancestors before us did many miracles even before Jesus was here. And I can go to some as seeing some variety of miracles that happened that are recorded in the word of God as such as uh, Moses, uh, Elijah, and all that they did in miracles that they were empowered by who? They were empowered by God. So I'm coming to you tonight asking you, as we continue to believe and to continue to trust God's word, I'm telling you that as he's done my life, he can do things no matter what because we become, we're stepping into the supernatural power and the love of God. Amen. Like miracles in included, remember that the miracles that Moses did, he parted the Red Sea. Uh, also, remember the healing of, of, of leprosy, amen, and, 
and resurrection of death, amen, and even more, as Jesus performed, we know many miracles, such as raising Lazarus, and also, what did he do? He cast out demons, amen, and we read the scriptures, and he walked also, remember, on water, amen, and he turned wine, uh, one of his first miracles was turning wine uh, uh, from water, amen, and we know that, that God is, that God's word, if we believe it and trust it, we know that these miracles happen before Jesus and with Jesus. And we got the greatest gift, which is the Holy Spirit. Amen. And God's gift and promises. So you're blessed, my sister and brother. I'm blessed. But together as well, we use our blessings and you know what? And acts in the name of Jesus and bound and loose the things that are not right. Amen. And also, healing, it'll come to pass. Remember the story also. I'm, I'm trying to talk a little fast because I got a little bit to read here. Uh, remember the story of the lame beggar uh, that got healing. And we know that, that now Peter and John was going up into the temple at the hour of what? Of prayer. And whom was late? They, uh, I'm sorry. Of prayer, and whom they lay daily at the gate of the temple was uh, a man. And the temple, remember, was called the beautiful gate. And then he asked for arms. In other words, he was asking for finances, amen, to help him, amen. But as they entered the temple, we know that the Bible says that uh, uh, seeing him, uh, Peter and John says, and it's recorded in the books of Acts, chapter 3, verse 16. And it is through this, putting trust in his name, that, this, that his name was given strength to that man who you see and know, yes, it is the trust that God, I mean, it is the trust that comes, I'm sorry, through Yahshua. I'm reading out of the complete Jewish Bible, I'm sorry. I'm reading out the Jewish complete Bible, which has given him this perfect healing in the presence of you and all those that were there. And uh, easy to read version, I'll read it again. Acts chapter 3, verse 16. And this crippled man was healed because he trusted what? In Jesus. And it was Jesus' power that made him well. You can see that this man and you know him, and he was made completely well because of faith in Jesus. And you see him. And we know that as they said, well, silver and gold I don't have right now, but he stretched his hand. But he said, uh, John and Peter said, what? They said, uh, get up and arise, amen, through, the, through what? Through the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And instantly the, the man's legs popped into place, in other words, making it easier to, uh, uh, so I could explain it faster, rather. <laughs> so what am I saying by that? that the, there's power in the name of Jesus. But again, it comes by what? Trusting and having faith for those things yet not seen, but still continue to believe and trust in God. Amen. Through Christ Jesus. So I say that tonight because, man, uh, how many people do we really know that are going through this right now? You might have a family member. You might have a friend or a sibling that's going through this right now. Remember that we got to come together as the children of God and start believing and trusting for healing for each one of them. Remember the Bible said just to lay hand and continue to believe and to trust. So I'm believing for my sister and all of you out there that might be going through this right now, whether it's cancer, whatever it might be. And we got to remember to continue to renew our mind and remember that as we learn from our ancestors before us through the word of God, that miracles do happen and they happen today. I'm sitting here a miracle. Yes, I had to go through the operation. Yes, I had to go to the doctor, but God touches those and I'm, like I'm always saying, God works through people. He touched the doctors. He touched those. But also I had to, you know, call on the Holy Spirit that's within me to arise and not have any doubt but continue to trust God. Because either way, whatever would have happened, 
you know what? I'm blessed either way. Amen. So I say that tonight because sometimes, man, we can get caught up in so many things. But remember that there's power in the name of Jesus Christ. And when we go through these things, we know we're to, to operate in the divine power of our Lord Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit that's within us. Remember that a miracle is a divine uh, oper uh, opportunity or oper operating, I'm sorry, operating that transform, transcends rather, what is normal and uh, the, uh, to proceed as a natural law. It cannot be explained upon any natural basis, in other words. But miracles recorded in the Bible fall into what? A supernatural thing that happens. As we know, as we got saved and God came into our lives, it was a supernatural thing that took over, that transforms our lives. But we got to continue to do our part is to do what? Simply to believe and to continue to trust the word of God and continue to apply that word into our lives. Oh, hallelujah. And Father, I just feel like praying right now. Father, I ask you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord, all those that might be going through whatever sickness in their body right now, whether it be cancer, whether it be uh, uh, diabetes or, or eyesight or uh, all these uh, uh, arthritis, all these diseases, dementia. Father, I bind them in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and I call healing right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I call healing. I believe, Father, Lord, your word, Lord. I know that your word works, Father, that you're still a miracle worker. So I'm calling it out today to my sisters and brothers out there that might be going through this right now, Father, Lord. I pray this in your mighty name, Lord, and ask all those that are out there to join with me in prayer and believing and binding and loosing Father, all these sickness and diseases that has affected so many of our loved ones, Lord. I pray that in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Remember, there is a supernatural act created, certainly created and activated. By what? By the word of God. As we come to the, our, 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 I guess, our, our reality that our relationship with God, that we are entitled to the blessings and claim those blessings. God said, only believe and trust in him. Follow his word and continue to believe. That's it. That's all he asks us to do, man. So I say that sincerely. We got to really start operating in the supernatural realm. Amen. Uh, Hebrews chapter 11, verse 3 says out of the complete Jewish Bible, by trusting, we understand that the universe was created through a what a spoken word of God so that what is seen did not come to being out of an existent what was that word again Natasha um or from phenomenon amen I got a hard time pronouncing that word I can read it but <laughs> phenomenon amen so again I'm going to read it one more time. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 3, and I'm reading out of the complete Jewish Bible. It says, by trusting, we understand that the universe was created, what? Through a spoken word. So that what is seen did not come into being out of existence or a phenomenon. He spoke it and it was done. That's it. He spoke it and it was done. He spoke it and it was done. I want to say that again. Remember Psalms 33 verse 9 out of the complete Jewish Bible again. For he spoke it and there it was. I like the way it says it again. <laughs> Philippians. I mean, I'm sorry. Psalms chapter 33 verse 9. He said, for he spoke it and there it was. He commanded and there it stood. I like that. He commanded, and there it stood. Don't you know the power that we have? Amen. This is why I was sharing that we are blessed by having that relationship with God, and we're blessed, and we can claim the blessings and 
all the signs and wonders and miracles that come with that. But we got to remember to trust and continue to believe. And believe me, I went through what it was almost three years being sick and going through doctors and having all kind of operations done in my body, uh, going down my throat, uh, welding my veins because they were blowing up inside of me. Uh, and I was internal bleeding and throwing out blood, and, and my liver just kept, uh, because of the liver, all, just every, all my organs just started dying one by one. But I refused to give in. I said, Lord, I'm going to believe your word. And it took three years. And look at, and, those, and within those three years, those that know me know, look at me today and look at some of the videos what I was. This is what I'm talking about, stepping into the supernatural, but also remember that you have a right to claim your blessing. But you got to remember to continue to believe and to trust God and to follow his word. It's that simple. This is not a religious thing. Again, like I'm always saying, it is a true intimate relationship with God. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Those three things working together to what? To bless you, my sister and brother out there. And also remember that what God has blessed us with to bless others. Amen. This is why God gave us this and, and allow us to go through things sometimes so we could, you know what, to glorify God and to know that God's hand is in control of every situation in our lives, no matter how drastic it seems, no matter if they say whatever, amen, that you might have a day to live. It's, remember that God is the author and the finisher of our faith and also remember that uh, to be absent from the body, we know it's to be present with him when we know. But also, I want to say this tonight, and this is my interpretation revelation. He's omnipresent, so he's with you right now. Amen. While we're here on this earth, he's walking with us. That's the gift of the Holy Spirit as we continue to do what's right and seek after righteousness and truth. Oh, hallelujah. But remember that Jesus walked on water. Remember when he did that. And when evening came, his disciples came down to him uh, to the sea, got into a boat and started around the sea of Capria. And it was night. Uh, it was now dark and Jesus had not yet come to them. And the sea became to roar. Amen. And because of a strong wind, and it was blowing, and verse 19 says, And when they have heard the rousing about three, listen to this, about three or four miles, amen, they saw Jesus walking on the sea and coming near to the boat where they were what? Frightened. So what I'm saying by that, my brothers and sisters, as we read those scriptures, think about this as I do. That you might be in a storm right now, and the waves seem impossible, and you might be in the middle of something, but you got to continue to believe and trust. Remember, it says that three miles to four miles, they saw him far. And like I said myself, three, my, uh, three years of being sick, and a lot of things happen in three. You see, and I think about that because I know that God always has a purpose, and his word gives us revelation and interpretation. So the Bible says also when two or three are gathered together and ask what? Anything in his name, it will be there. Amen. And this is, I mean, I'm simple. This is what I'm talking about. As me and my wife were just praying here and my daughter, three of us, and we were just asking the Lord continue to give us wisdom and, and to share his word here in this place with our brothers and sisters that to encourage and to build up and to remind as we remind ourselves of the greatest gift that we have the day that we got saved, the day that we receive the Lord Jesus Christ into our lives that assures our destiny. So no matter what happens while we're here on this earth, we know our destiny and our future as we continue to trust in him. So I want to say that because I want to encourage you, my brothers and sisters. And I know that we can have those things that come of being uh, frightened. And, and a lot of times we don't want to 
uh, uh, say it, but deep down inside, we know where we're at, so to speak, in our relationship with God. This is why I plead with you, my brothers and sisters, as the Bible says, I urge you, my sister and brother, get things right with God, because we don't know the time or the place. Amen. And like I said, man, uh, as we as experience so many things that has happened in our lives, and I'm pretty sure you have too in your life, uh, remember that let us walk in the love of God. Let us continue to encourage one another. Let us continue to follow the word of God. And let us most of all continue to be there for each other, helping one another. As the Bible says, man, as we treat one another, we're doing it on to God because this is what God wants us to do. So I want those out there to join with me again one more time. We're going to pray specifically for our sister and, 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 and whatever you might have, a relative or a friend or out there. Just call out their names together as we all do right now here, me and Natasha. We're going to continue to pray. Father, I come in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord that you would touch our sister Patty from the top of her head to the soles of her feet. Father, we bind this cancer in her body right now. Lord, we ask your Father, Lord, for a, a miracle right now. Father, we know that you are the miracle worker, Father, Lord. And we're coming to you in the name, again, of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And all my brothers and sisters, whatever their family or friends, whoever is going through anything in their lives, Father, we ask you, Lord, Father, to heal them right now tonight, Lord. And we're going to continue to pray and we're going to continue to fast for them, Father, in your name, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father, because we trust your word. And, Father, we know that what you've done for us, you will do for them. And I say that all in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen and amen. Again, I thank God for this opportunity. And again, I want to say this, that uh, we're here. And I'm asking those that are out there that uh, continue to let us pray uh, for our community, our city. We see the things that are happening in New York all over. Everybody's saying the uh, Martians and some people are saying uh, this because they see the sky. But like I said, we don't know the time and place. And we know all these things that we've learned from our ancestors and through the word of God that we were going to go through stuff like this. So it doesn't surprise me and it shouldn't surprise you. But remember, let us continue to walk in faith. Let us continue to trust God Almighty. He has power over all things on this earth. He is the creator of all things. And let us not get spooked or have fear of what's happening around us, but let us let us submit our lives totally to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and to our destiny, which is in God. Amen. And let us pray, and let us pray for our community, our city, and this earth, that we all come together in unity and love, because that is the greatest thing that we can do. Love overpower all things, and remember that we have power, to bind and to loose those things that are not of God because we can't go by superstition and all this. We know that the enemy's out there trying to imitate the things of God, but he can't. Amen. So I say this in Jesus' mighty name. So from Pastor Benny here at, at Love Wings Ministry Studios, again, I pray blessings on you and your family. Amen. And again, those that are out there, uh, that uh, can contact us about being part of the programs that we have here or starting your own program right here at Love Wings Ministry Studios. Call us so we have the equipment and the facility to do this now. And that would help us to continue to minister the gospel as we've been doing. In Jesus' mighty name, amen, amen, and amen.